Hey guys, this is Red Silvers, and last time we died horribly in the fourth set of levels. So let's go ahead and start over. We're going to be seeing stuff that you've already watched me go through for the beginning of this. <coughs> so, sorry for the redundancy, but I figure you want to see the horrible, horrible failure on my part, rather than me just cutting it out. That's not as entertaining. And the only downside is that since you've seen me go through this level already, there's not a whole lot to talk about until I get to something new. So I thought I would uh, just kind of gush for a bit about this uh, Pokemon RP that I just recently rejoined. And I just died horribly. And just to give you some background on this, on one of the forums that I post on, that I've posted on for probably like 11 or 12 years now has an art, a role playing section and they've tried to do a lot of different types of RPs but the Pokemon one has pretty much been the longest running it's been going since 2006 and there's been spin-offs And so, they just recently joined a new section that's based on the area from the trading card game, Game Boy game. And if that's not the most redundant thing that you've ever heard, then I don't know what to say. And I haven't been in the roleplay for a little bit. I kind of dropped out due to some real life things a while back. And they've been trying to get me to come back, so they started this new area, and I thought, what the hey, I can join in without having to really know a whole lot of the backstory that I missed, because it's all new characters. And I've been having a lot of fun with it. I have a character that is a psychic witch that rides a broomstick, and it's... Oh shit, I just got an axe, which is really good for right here, but... It's probably going to hurt me when I get to the boss. And this kind of prompted me talking to one of the guys that runs the RP about my own personal RP that I ran a while back that was also a Pokemon one. And I've had a lot of requests to, to restart this one. And I haven't been able to for various reasons and that's part of what I talked to him about. But it was a really good conversation, and it really felt good to talk about it. And I'm probably in about the worst situation that you can be in in this game right now. Because I don't have a holy water, and I'm one hit away from death. So this is probably going to be a game over. Game, uh, game ending run right here. This is probably one of the two major choke points in this game right here. Because this is the hallway leading up to Frankenstein. And the problem with Frankenstein is that he's very hard if you don't have the holy water. But as you saw, I cannot get a holy water. If I start over after dying here, I do not have access to a holy water. And part of the problem in this fight isn't Frankenstein, but is Igor. And, oh my god. That was a lot closer than I was expecting. So, if I can just repeat that, this time, I'm not really in too bad a shape. And of course, there's still worse to come, because uh, there's an area before the next boss that's much worse. But let's just say that if I die here, that I kind of called it.
And that certainly is not going to help my chances. So we'll probably be starting this over. Let's see if I can keep uh, Igor stun locked a little bit here. Because that's really, I think, the trick that I'm going to need to use if I can't get the holy water. Is trying to keep Igor under control as early into the fight as I can. Um, so, another thing that is going on that I can kind of talk about while I'm rehashing the same level that I've already seen multiple times, and that is that uh, Talking Time has been working on kind of a... well, shit has been uh, working on a follow-up to Talking Time, Super Talking Time Brothers 2. And they're in open testing right now, so it's not released yet, but I am rather excited to see how it comes along because I was a bit more involved in the process this time around than I have been in either of the previous projects. I did one level for the first game was expansion and then there while I was oh my god while I was fooling around with that I kind of made some level concepts and some of them may actually did get uh, fine-tuned and put into the second game but I was not around for that And I've pretty much screwed myself this run. So I was a part of those two games, but I was not a very big part of the development. And I happened to come back around just as they were releasing the second game. So I kind of got a little bit involved because of the first rush of people playing the game. But I was not really part of the uh, pro the creative process. So I was able to get involved in some of the development on this project, and that makes it feel a bit more uh, personal to me. And I, I know that there's several people that have done a lot more for the series in general, and they certainly deserve most of the credit. But I'm excited to see this new one come out, and see if it uh, is as popular as the previous projects and just to see how beloved it is in general I think the second game in particular really kinda took the internet by storm I don't know that there's really been anybody that's really complained that much about it and it's always kinda cool to see people play something that you had some small bit of uh, involvement in all right this is kind of the final huzzah here I've got the holy water and I'm out of lives and I'm halfway dead so let's not get that knife because that is the most asshole knife in the game. And I don't believe that there's any wall chicken around here. And now that I say that, there's going to be one hidden that I'm missing this entire time. and I'm going to get a million comments about it like, Hey, dumbass, you missed this, and you died because of it. Oh dear. I actually told one of my f real life fr Oh goody, a two with no sub weapon. Thanks, game. I know I mentioned to one of my friends that I was doing this series, and he said that he could not wait to see me have this game beat me up. And you can't say that that's not what's going on here. If nothing else, though, 
I'm definitely going to be picking up the... Ooh, that was a little close for comfort. I'm definitely learning the, the stage at this point. No! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and that's what happens when I try to sound smart. As soon as I make some profound statement like, Oh yeah, I'm, I'm learning and I'm doing better, then the game decides to get all Murphy's Law on me. I actually did mention at one point to, to the to in the racing channel that this would be an interesting game to see race, and everybody's response was, "Do you really want to see people? Oh my God! Do you really want to see people grind uh, stage four over and over again, getting stuck on Frankenstein?" So there was definitely some merit to those statements. And what's really sad is that there are people from Talking Time that have uh, done playthroughs of this game for the challenge and done it without losing any lives. And in the time it took me to do the first two videos of this series, it was already longer. Oh my god. It was already longer than I have spent. Or I've spent longer in the first two videos than they spent doing the entire game. So, I should probably link some of their videos because they're going to do, they're probably a lot more entertaining than this if you want to see someone do the game right. But if you just want to laugh at people failing horribly, then you've come to the right video. Let's see, and I know one of them is that did it was Kayan. Who is the guy that played? Uh, who the guy who wrote uh, "I Want to Be the Guy"? So, of course, tricky games are apparently his bread and butter. And I know somebody else has done a video playthrough of Castlevania One from Talking Time, but I can't think of who it is right now. And again, we're at the part of this stage that's probably going to, to end me. Fucking Fleeman. I'm sure there's a really easy way to deal with these guys that I am neglecting. Oh, and there was even an invincibility jar. So hey, this video is probably a little boring because you're just watching me grind the same thing over and over and over. And not knowing how far to jump. Oh my god. I, the Game Grumps actually played through Castlevania 1 not too long ago and they had kind of an amusing strategy where if they died on one of these hard levels they just kind of suicided so that they didn't have to try and get to the boss and have no lives left and I'm not gonna do that because I feel like that's a little silly are you kidding me I just lost the holy water. Fuck. And I already know because of that game they play through actually that the clock is useless against Frankenstein. So 
Just so that nobody is li comments like, hey, why don't you try this? Although it will be useful for the Fleeman section, so that might be an option. Well, that really did trivialize that section. But of course, now I'm going to fail against the boss. But I'm still too proud to take the dagger. You're not supposed to drop hearts where I can't get them, you jerk. Actually, come to think of it, I think they're in... There is a meat. Stuff that I learned from Harmony Despair, so... Wow. Well... I have no idea how well this is gonna go, but... You have the clock, you use the clock. Oh boy, but at least now I know about that meat, so hopefully it will make uh, repeat playthroughs not so terrible. I do kind of like that they do give you a lot of hearts right in this area, between the bone pillar dragon things and the well and just in general there's a lot of uh, opportunity to refuel on hearts so that when you get here without anything you're not totally in trouble on now. Ah! <laughs> oh boy. I do feel like I have to progress in this video and that it would be really silly to release a video where I, I just hit the wall and then give up. But we'll have to see how long this takes because I don't want to just sit here and put up like an hour long video of me failing either. <sighs> Too bad, Eric Red, you're already doing an hour long video where you fail miserably. But yeah, I do kind of feel like I need to make some progress in this video, and if I do, great. And if not, hey, you guys might get to sit and laugh at me forever. Okay, that needs to stop happening, though. This level's giving me enough trouble without me failing simple jumps. <laughs> Yeah. 
there is something to be said about um, succeeding at a challenge like this after playing it for so long. And, you know, something like this, after fighting this level so much, beating the level will feel really good. And that's kind of a fun way to look at it, you know. Yes, it's given me trouble, but that just makes the victory that much sweeter. Of course, all the failing that I'm going to do here will just kind of get duplicated next time. I kind of wonder here... As long as these guys come in front, they're not terrible. It's the ones that sneak up behind you that really suck. Because they almost tend to drop right in your attack pattern the first time. So if the game wants to be gracious and keep coming at me from ahead, that's great. Oh my god, no. Whew, if you're gonna cut it, cut it close. Ah! <laughs> Stupid knife. Wow. A rosary? Alrighty, let's see if I can do this without uh, taking too much damage from... Oh my god! You're kidding me! No! I actually got a, had invincibility going into the boss and everything. I cannot believe that. I didn't even know that you could get invincibility right before a boss. So... I don't know if I walk forward here, if I go back... Is, yeah, he's back. Although he's a lot easier to deal with from behind. But I was just thinking, uh... I could... Get rid of the other... Well, no, because then if I go backtrack for the meat, he comes back. So, yeah, I was just having this brainstorm that I could, uh... Kill this second bone pillar... Go get the meat, and then not have to kill him again. But since they respawn, that's not a possibility. Ah, frickin' Igor. Alrighty, I think uh, I may have to break my rule about making progress in the video if this goes on much longer because I certainly don't want to have a really, really, really long video that nobody's going to sit through. No!
Okay. Ooh, an axe. <laughs> I love all these times that I am dropping Dracula's money and I'm just like, you know what? I don't care. Let it rot in the bottom of the, the pond. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. I think I've grinded against the wall for enough of one video. So hopefully next video will actually complete this. Because this is just getting sad. Until next time.